Hello everybody and welcome to another one sixth video and I haven't done a one sixth video for a pretty long time and I've had this guy sitting there in my review queue so I thought it was about time to take a look at the latest offering from Asmus Toys in the form of The Hobbit, The Battle of Five Armies, Thranduil. Uh, Thran, Thranduil? Thranduil? Uh, I, he's the Elven King. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, let, let's go with Thranduil. It's a nice standard style Asmus box with some minimalistic detailing on it. We've got a warning on the back here. We've got a notice. We've got choking hazards. We've got the licensing and how to contact Asmus. The inner sleeve gives us details about the Thrunder Wheel and this is 342 of 600 pieces that have been made. He comes packaged in an extremely sturdy clamshell and here we have him out of the packaging and I'm going to be honest with you straight off the bat I think this is probably one of the best products Asmus has done to date. I love him. What an amazing resemblance to Lee Pace, the actor that played him in the movies. Uh, they have absolutely nailed it. I mean, you literally get drawn into those eyes. Uh, kind of dreamy looking. <laughs> you got their nice little elven ears going on here as well with a nice point to them. Uh, I like the rooted hair on this. It's almost Barbie doll-esque, but it's uh, there's a lot of rooting going on. Some of the figures, they kind of skimp out on the rooting and they give us the odd bit here and there, but this has got a very nice natural wave to it, and it's not glued as much as you normally get with some of the Asmus figures. When you buy them, sometimes they've got like a gel or something in the hair which slicks it down, and you kind of have to heat it up and uh, wash it out a little bit. But with this guy, I mean, it's naturally a very luscious set of uh, blondy silver locks. He has a very natural looking skin tone. Uh, got a very nice glisten there on the eyes. Uh, the eyebrows are nice and dark. And just look at that forehead. You've got that nice little brow stretch just above the nose. Definitely one of the best sculpts we've had from Asmus. I love it when Asmus include these big, huge, chunky base stands as well. We've got a rock going on there, we've got some ivy going up, and then we've got his nice boots going up through the armoured shins. We've got this glistening garment going on. We've got the cape at the back, a very gorgeous red. And we can see the swords which are mounted in their sheaths. Again, we come up to the chest armour. We've got the feathered shoulder sections. And we've got the secondary sword again with the armour and the feathered shoulders. Now in addition, the Elven King is also blessed with his staff, which has a nice translucent section on the top there. We also get an alternative base uh, for those who prefer the bland kind of hobbit looking... Uh, not a fan of that, I love these big rock section bases. And we also get a variety of hands. Now we get the open grasping hands as standard. We get a kind of sword wielding fist for both hands and we get a clenched fist for both hands. And Asmus have given us a just in case selection of wrist pegs. The swords themselves are actually die cast and pretty sharp. I love the elven pattern all the way along the blade. Now both of these blades are the same and they just slide into the sheath like so. Really nice fit. I love how naturally this hangs down on that strap as well. Now let's just remove the hand and we'll add a fist onto there, just sliding that onto the ball joint and then we can slide the sword into the hand like so. Now I absolutely love how natural some of these poses look. It's nice for them to add this really thin kind of pipe cleaner section to the cape as well so we can get a kind of wind swept look going on. I mean, he's mounted this rock, he's ready for battle and the wind is just blowing in. If anything I should really flick over the hair somewhat. Uh, but yes, very impressed with his posability. And even without his base stand he's still a very well balanced figure. Now articulation wise the head can look down 
we can look up a nice nice height there we can tilt to the side for a very quizzical pose and we can look left and we can look right the shoulders the armor itself is mounted on a hinge so we can move that out of the way and swivel we've got a ball mount inside there so we can go up down around there's an upper bicep rotation uh, there is a slight butterfly joint in there as well we get a double jointed bend at the elbow we already know we get rotation on that wrist uh, the fingers are of course all static but we do get some tilt on the wrist as well the waist there is a rotation and there is an abdominal crunch forwards and backwards and legs can come out to the front no real hindrance coming out to the back the skirt section does hinder him slightly a nice kind of velvety uh, texture there with almost like a silk on the inside uh, his tights <laughs> don't really get in the way at all there's no real issues there uh, we can come out to the side we got a bend at the knee not quite a double jointed bend though uh, not most attractive of knees you can kind of see the joint through these sections here and coming down to the legs we do get ball jointed ankles and you can actually just see the ankle joint there the stocking leg things don't quite come down low enough so you have to kind of lower the armor to cover them off and we get uh, some detailing on the bottom of the shoe and nice fake steel or iron toe caps as must always impress me with their attention to detailing on these lord of the ring and hobbit figures i love these feathered sections on the back here obviously they're not made of real feathers but i have got a lot of fuzzy felt feel to the back <laughs> but it's nice you can angle those as you see fit i like to have them coming kind of over the top of this cape section and under the armor there as well they've even detailed the back of the armor there they really do do their research so yes to summarize it's a very playable highly articulated version of the elf king himself uh, as accurate as he looks i'm not entirely convinced by the swords they don't quite stay in the hands as much as i would like and i would have possibly have liked a slightly uh, denser pipe cleaner or something in this cape here so we can really bring it out to the side almost batman style so it's kind of blowing when he stood upon that rock so there we have it ladies and gentlemen let me know your thoughts in the comments section below i stand by my decision that this is probably the best offering asmus have given us thoroughly enjoy messing around with this figure he is glorious uh, a true likeness and a must for any lord of the ring hobbit fans or one sixth collectors hope you've enjoyed this video if you have feel free to give it a big thumbs up share it and subscribe i've included a link on the side here to my playlist of other asmus figures i have reviewed from the hobbit and lord of the rings line and until next time from myself and thrandrul thrand thrand the elf king <laughs> thanks for watching uh, goodbye